but hey, it's a coffee stream. Welcome to the coffee stream. What are we doing today? What are we doing today, brain? I'm trying to take over the world. What, what can I show you? Well, number one is going to be the advent calendar of coffee. It came, it saw, it conquered. No. <laughs> I've I've had one coffee today already. Um, I needed it because we're an hour off. My body was like, hey, wait, it's, it's like 1 at 1 p.m. What are you doing? <laughs> it's not, it's 12, but it's like, this is not right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna open it up. We're not obviously not gonna go through the advent yet because we're a month early. Uh, and I'm really weird. Like, I, I don't know if the coffee is gonna be good after just waiting for a month. They've sent it fairly early, but I'm guessing because postal stripes and just making sure to get all the orders out. Um, but we're gonna open the outside box first. You'll notice I ripped off my address this time, and they're not showing you that. Number two, number two on the list is, I got myself a mock pot, a little tiny one, this is a two cup mock pot, that's how small they are, right? It gives about anywhere between 70 and 90 mils of coffee at the end, which admittedly is two cups of coffee if you're going off the normal shot size and all this stuff, it is about right. A normal shot would be any would be about forty or fifty, so probably about forty, and that's even like a heaped shot. So yeah. Anyway, really good. Um, it's actually kind of hard to master, and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit later. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but highly recommend. Um, I might get a bigger one. What else? Uh, oh yes, a spider has taken over the uh, coffee area, so we're going to have to navigate that. <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> We've got two um, types of coffee. One of you can, you guys can pick which one um, I'm going to do, and that's all I've got right now. I think. Oh, I didn't get a chance to actually show you the Lego that came because of the streaming issue. So not today, this won't be happening today, but probably from next weekend. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say from next weekend, we've got the International Space Station. We have a tiny, tiny little thing. Um, it comes out to about, I think it's slightly wider than the box. So about there. So yes, we are we're going to be making that. Oh yeah. Can't wait for that one. Am I still alive? Please say I'm still alive. Anyway, how's everyone's weekend been? How are we all doing? I'm going to uh start opening the box. We'll do this. Actually no, should we get the coffee brewing? We're still alive. Oh, we're uh, still hey, alive. Hey, welcome there. back. Certainly glad you could join us today. Trickster with the 18 months. Oh, damn. That's a double baby. That's how twins work, right? Trickster's had twins. There we go. What are you calling them? You broke an exhaust from yesterday. See it. Yeah, so yesterday, uh, we were on rugs 24, 24. She did do 24 hours. She definitely didn't. 12 hour stream. <laughs> she was doing a 12 hour charity stream because she's doing a uh, 100 kilometers trek across the Sahara for Copper Feel, um, which is the charity about like, breast cancer and just general, like feeling your bits for cancer. Um, you don't feel your bits to raise money for cancer. That's wrong. That would be weird. <laughs> it's the make sure you check yourself every, uh, every so often, quite frequently. Um, and she's doing that. She's doing that uh, trek across the Sahara, 100 thousands of your Earth meters over four or five days. Byron, how's it going? Yes, everyone's costume was awesome. Trickster, you have created something that is horrific in B's costume. Um, 
If anyone wants to see that, I, I'm not sure if it's in my Discord, but it might be in Sam's Discord. Uh, it's horrible. It is horrible. How's the haunted printer? Yes, so Trickster created a uh, Furby face. I, was it the whole face? You painted the whole face? Um, it was horrible. Sam came as a uh, stereotypical anime girl from an anime I, I've never seen or don't know anything about, but that's very good. <laughs> and Geek came as a uh, a spider mother, spider thing, tarantula, um, which was very good <laughs> as well. <laughs> and creepy to have in the house. Um, right. Should I? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the coffee first. Let's do coffee first. Let's do coffee first. First, let's go. Um, I need to move. I need to move Spider Man. I'm probably just going to put him behind. There we go. I think that's okay. That gives, that gives me the room. Yes. Then I can go. Whoa! Up there. It spawned itself screaming as it was created. <laughs> so you promptly um, packaged it up and sent it to B to get rid of it, yes? <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> uh, awesome. Right. Coffee. Should we do some coffee? By the way, um, I should probably mention this now. I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming for, because um, at five o'clock UK time, um, which is now GMT because the clock went back, we, me and Sam, will be on Joe's twelve-hour stream because everyone's doing it's it's fashionable to do twelve-hour streams now. Um, we'll be on there doing some Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Is that what it's called? The new Ghostbusters. Um, team game thing what we're doing right I got some Ethiopian I should probably reframe this I muted myself. How did I do that? Have I done the tutorial? No, I'm doing it after this stream. It's posted in anything. Join the Discord. Um, we're also going to be doing some uh, one, one of these in a bit. So, do I want Ethiopian or do I want Brazilian? Should I should I read out the descriptions of each one? The Ethiopian. Is single origin Ethiopian is rich, full body, sweet, complex flavor, low acidity, floral aroma, and finish that is bright and soft, well balanced with notes exhibiting berries and citrus. And then Brazil is our single origin Brazilian has full body and balanced acidity, pronounced sweetness with hints of toasted marshmallows, pecans, or pecans. Um. And toffee. Clean aftertaste with a lingering sweetness. Pro pre-preparation. <laughs> We're told the tutorial is half an hour long um, for this Ghostbusters game, so I need to do it before five o'clock. Um, I will not be streaming at five. We will be in Joe's stream because obviously it's a charity stream. We don't want to dis distract from that. Uh, but I think I'm going to record it in case anything funny happens. Probably will, knowing us. Um, so, which one we having? Tell me. Tell me which one we having. I'm going to start cutting open it. Ethiopia or Brazil?
I'm happy with either, to be honest. I need to eat open one because I'm running out of coffee that's open. Ethiopia! There we go. The the people have spoken. By people, I mean one person. Ethiopia. It is, by the way, a medium roast. After last night's Brazil or Portugal fiasco, yeah. We were playing GeoGuessr on Rugstream and someone kept saying, no, it's it's Portugal, it's Portugal, and then one person said, uh, Brazil. Um, <laughs> we chose Brazil, it was Portugal. <laughs> These bags are super thick. I have a ah, this is not good. I've got like a Stanley knife here trying to open this. There we go. So, Ethiopia from Lewis and Cooper, same as um, the other two I've, I've done. Smells good. Smells good. Not really getting much, if I'm honest. We're going to do an AeroPress. We're going to do an AeroPress. Oh, that's way too much. Lovely medium roast. Not giving me anything like smell wise. Oh, I need to try and put these back in the bag now. Oh, it's all gone wrong. So I put beans in the grinder. <laughs> I'm totally not awake today. Um, right, I'm going to put the grinder on, get the kettle, and we're going to do an air press. I've put in 14 grams of that. Um, I'm grinding recently a lot. Well, I say a lot. A teeny bit finer, and I find it, it it's helped a lot. So, um, I'm still trying to find the best grinds. Hey, Joe! Hey Joe, thank you for showing up. I know you've got a 12 hour stream to start soon. Um, 45 minutes, right? That's when you're starting. And then we're on four hours from that. Ish, yeah. I think that's about right. Uh, right, I'm gonna go do grinder. Um, and then we'll, we'll open the advent calendar and I'll talk about my mocha pot. Yes, sir. Right, let's go. I will mute because it's going to be loud.
Coffee go brr. Coffee does indeed go brr. Morning. Yeah, so I'll get this on the go and we'll have a little chat. There's a grind right there. Still not picking up anything like it just tastes it smells of coffee and chocolate and the usual smell there's nothing like hitting me it doesn't sp uh, smell bright or uh, floral as they usually tend to do sometimes all right but it's a top but stop in and now we wait hey Google um, set timer for three minutes. I hope that set everyone else's time off. Um, my brain will be barfing at the end of today's. <laughs> uh, Kashi told me to say David Attenborough instead of Chocolate Gober. <laughs> and now we see the streamer in his natural habitat. Failing to change scenes. I set off your timer. Yeah, that happens. Um, how do I open this? So, this advent calendar from Packed Coffee. Remember, we used to get Packed Coffee quite a lot. Um, they have sent the advent calendar a month early. Um, and we will be doing this from December onwards. I don't know how I'm going to do it because like I don't want to drink seven cups every Sunday <laughs> so I don't know if I'll uh, I don't know we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something let me have a look at it first so um, the box is opened that is the box coming with this little thing here and it says we hope thank you for buying our 2022 advent calendar we hope you enjoy counting down with these very special coffees we've got much more now available for christmas blah 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 selling more stuff um yes it's just this is advertising their christmas range basically don't care about that yeet right. oh god no. And there we have a box. Um, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it goes this way up. And then there's a flap here I will be opening. I'm just going to see if I can sneak it. Okay, no, no. Okay, yeah. So all the coffees are just in bags. I don't think there's a... Um, doesn't look like there's like um it's hidden so as soon as i open i will see all the coffees basically they, they'll all be on show so i am going to leave that uh it can go with the lego there we go i'm, I'm yeah a short each day with the making and the brief review Ooh, that's a good idea that's not gonna be a lot of effort <laughs> Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Good one, Trickster. Um, maybe I could do a... Ooh. Thank you. Maybe I could do a... Uh, summary video at the end of all... Right, does it have 25 or 24? Because in my opinion, every advent calendar should always have 25. Some even have 31. That's insane. That is insane. Let's 
give this a stir. Let's let's change cameras. Get a neighbor to take half the cups. No. Um, I can't remember how much that was. I think it was about. It was in the twenties. Twenty-seven quid. If it was twenty-seven pounds. Um, is there a weight? Shit. Oh well, that's open now. Don't peek. Uh, twenty-five cups. It says twenty-five. It's good. I'm guessing it's uh, probably about 20 grams in each sachet. Someone want to do some math? Math? Math it up. Right, quick stir. Let's plunge. Blendy, blendy, blendy. I've been grinding finer, um, Joe, I'm not sure if you were here. Grinding it slightly finer on the AeroPress, which means that pushing down is, is a little bit harder, but not too hard. It, I, think, I think I've got the right balance now. Here we go. Nice, nice, strong coffee. So, Ethiopia from Lewis and Cooper. Um, single origin, rich, full body, sweet, complex flavor, low acidity, which I like. Floral aroma, didn't get that. Nah. Uh, Finish is bright and soft. Well balanced notes of ber berries and citrus. Berries and citrus, berries and citrus. Um, let's give it a go. Black. Let's go back to this screen first. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do a... Sort of getting a little bit of the, the, the like, the... Uh, so, full body, yes. Sweet complex flavours, yes. Low acidity, yes. Floral aroma, I am getting that. There's like a... At the back of the throat, there's like a... It's not a tang. It's... It's strange. It's very... It is floral. I will give it that. Um... Finish those bright and soft berries and citrus. Now, that is that bright and um, soft sort of back of the throat thing. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. I'm going to put some milk in. See if I can um, bring out some of those flavours a bit more. Yeah, it's got a weird, not bad, strange taste at the end. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can't put my finger on that flavour, but it's definitely like a um, fruity-ish sort of. It's not quite, remember, I think it was last week, the black currant, not quite hitting much as like, oh, that's definitely black currant. Not like that, but there's something, there's something in there. It's nice. I don't know if I'd like choose this one over any of the others. My favorite so far has been that black currant one, the uh, Columbia. Um...
Hmm. Maybe now I've opened it, it might mature. Sorry about the slurping, but that's the best way of getting the flavour out, it's adding oxygen. Like you do with wine. Um, yeah, there's definitely like that, there is a floral sort of like bright finish, as they say. Interesting. It's, it's good, but it's not my favourite. You go in there. What's everyone else drinking today? Did anyone else get the advent calendar? I know I posted it in my Discord. You gonna do it along with me? I assume that because they were just all it looked like packets with like um just like little sachets um in rows. I assume they're numbered. So I'm just gonna not just gonna pick a random one each day. Maybe on the Sundays I'll do Saturday and Sundays. What day is the 1st of December? Thursday. Could do that. You're on coffee. Cool. Um, now, my other purchase. My purchase this week has been... Well, I've actually purchased a few things because obviously I've got the Lego as well. And, um, not that you need to know this, but I got a back brace because of my bad back. <laughs> We're about to start sipping. Uh, because of all the gardening and the bad back I had from gardening, um, I decided to get one of those like round the lower back straps to support me. And I used it yesterday and it was amazing. So no shame in being old and having to do that. Right, mock apart. I've taken it apart. But mock pot, this is a two cup mocha. You put about 100, 110 ish uh, mils of water in the bottom, and it produces somewhere between, let's say, 70 and 90. Kind of depends on when you take it off the heat and the coffee you're putting in and, um, and things like that. It is, oh, it's a beast to get right. I've been doing this basically two or three times a day since I got it on. Wednesday, Tuesday, at some point in the in the in the week, um, and yeah, you need you need to be careful with it. You need to be really careful with it. How much? Uh, that's not how you spell mocha in this way. It's M O K A. Apparently. Mo mocha. You, 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 you mocha, mocha pop. Um, mocha Express. It is the original Bialetti, um, the designer of the original mocha pot, because uh, I thought I'd go for the original. At least read it. Okay, how much mocha could a mocha pot mocha if a mocha pot mo mocha was chocker? Oh! <laughs> is that right? <laughs> How much mocha could a mocha pot mocha pot mo, mocha pot mocha if a mocha pot mocha was chocker? <laughs> we might need to work on that one. Um, yes, so uh, it is entirely um, aluminium. Aluminium uh, thing, which means it doesn't work on induction hobs. Uh, you have to get an adapter for that. What you do is you fill up the bottom bit here with water, ideally boiled water because then it's quicker to boil, um, and you fill it up to the bottom inside of this little valve thing. So this little valve thing is the pressure release uh, safety valve and it will open if, uh, if something goes wrong <laughs> so that it doesn't explode because um, pressurized water is bad. Pressurized anything is bad really if it gets too much. Um, then you've got like a little basket. So your little basket, you put your coffee in. Uh, some shine on there. Ooh, aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminium. 
anyway. Uh, yeah, so it's got like, it's got perfect, I can't, you can't see because of the bloody, look at the shine on that, Jesus. Uh, it's got holes in there, they're not fine holes, so coffee does sometimes get back into this because you've got slots in the top there. Um, but you fill the basket in with, I would say, medium fine, so it's finer than the AeroPress, but it's nowhere near espresso. It's about halfway in between at most. Um, and you, you you basically fill the whole thing, level it off. Do not compress it. Uh, and what happens is pressure builds up, comes through that little pipey thing, through the filter, and goes up. Now on the top part, which screws on, got a little gasket, and it's got another one of those filters. This all comes off. So the coffee obviously stays in, in the bottom part. And then the top has a little spout, comes out the little spout and just trickles down. Um, and the way you do it is obviously put the hot water in, put the coffee in. Watch out because the whole thing gets super hot as soon as you put hot water in a metal thing. That's another fun thing. Um, and then you stick that on your hob and you wait for it to heat up. And at a certain temperature, the coffee will just start like slowly coming out of this top little spout. Like it'll just like slowly come out. And the hotter it gets, the faster that comes out and eventually it'll come out of steam. You don't want that. So you've just got to, you've got to monitor it, you've got to watch it, you've got to monitor it, you've got to make sure that you take it off the heat so it doesn't get too hot and you don't get to that point. Because that produces over extracted too hot water, water when it's too hot, ruins coffee, it'll taste burnt, it'll taste horrible, bitter, you don't want it. Um, so and it takes about five minutes, this one, with the boiled water in and everything. I've noticed it starts coming out about half, uh, four and a half minutes uh, on a medium-ish heat. We've got an electric um, hob though, so that might be why. If we had a gas one, it might be quicker. So this is a high maintenance coffee maker. You just need to keep an eye on it. It's not like the AeroPress where you can just fill it and walk off for three minutes. Um, or a... Uh, it's it's more probably like a espresso where you need to keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, I have put it on the hob, and I was like, I'll come back in three minutes because I know it hasn't started yet, and I've come back uh, later than that because of my brain, <laughs> and it has just finished, and it's gotten to that point where it's starting to do the spurty, too hot stuff. So I instantly take it off. You can run the bottom bit under the cold tap to stop the, you know, the temperature coming through. Um, and that was good, it wasn't the best one I made, but it was alright. Um, if you do leave it for too long, you get that, and I'm going to say this, I don't mean it in a bad way, but you get that traditional um, Italian taste of coffee, where it's slightly overdone. <laughs> uh, someone said, oh no, we never watched them, watched them in, in Italy, we just let it do its thing, and then it's done, it's done. Um, <laughs> But that's why all the, the people in, in Italy with these are just like completely used to burnt coffee. That was their words, not mine. But I can understand it now. Anyway. Um, yes. I will attempt to do this on stream at one point. But unfortunately I don't have a hob in this room. So we'll have to figure that one out. Hey, maybe I should add a, a hob to my um, to my throne. <laughs> a little tiny one for this room. <laughs> but now he's living up here. Should I do that? Ah, right. I am going to. Um... Ooh. I mean, I think coffee's pretty good. Right, should we do a? Should we do an instant? Should we do an instant? Let's do an instant. We've been doing these um, low-calorie, sugar, sugar-free, vegan, no nuts variety pack from Beanies. Um, can't remember the ones we've done so far. Double chunk, I think, and 
uh, maple fudge. So, and we've obviously done the uh, the pumpkin spice, which I'm still getting through, and that's all right. Erudite Gaming! Hello, hello, welcome on in. We've just made a coffee. Very nice coffee. I've been talking about my coffee advent calendar, which is down there, and Lego. Uh, here. Where's my finger? There's my finger. Um, which we'll be doing from December onwards. Obviously, advent calendar. Um, I've just made an AeroPress. And we're going to try some flavoured, sugar-free um, instant coffee. Right. I will pick three. We have mint chocolate. We have nutty hazelnut. I think nutty hazelnut came up last time. And we have... It's <laughs> That is sound right. <laughs> it's technically tomorrow, but time zones. Yes, no, it's always better to be early than late. Uh, no worries, Joe. I understand your 12 hour stream starts in 20 minutes, so please go get ready for that. And we have white chocolate and raspberry. I'm pretty sure that one came up last time as well. Right. We have. Ooh. God, we have so much glare. Have I turned this up? Oh, there you go. Mint chocolate. Nutty hazelnut. Uh, white chocolate and raspberry. Shall we do a poll? Let's poll. Which... Coffee! Oh. Right. Uh, mint shark. These are just gonna taste like chocolate, those ones, and that one's just gonna taste like nuts. So, they never, these never taste of coffee. Uh, nutty... Hazel. Hazel. Done. Poll up in chat, please vote. If you don't, I've got to go pick one at random. Wasn't supposed to be no nuts. Yeah, it just tastes of nuts. Sugar free, no nuts, vegan, low calorie. I have no idea how they've made it taste of nuts. Um, because it just says it's it's a uh, freeze dried uh, coffee plus flavorings. Yep, freeze dried coffee flavoring. So God knows what is it, what's in these things. Andy, how's it going? Hello, I've got my headphones on. I'm not sure what's going on. I have, a, I have some random sounds, my good friends. Oh God, that's probably too loud. I have to apologize. Synthet yeah, they're probably very synthetic and probably not good for you in any way. <laughs> Loud. I'm sorry. Let me turn it down. There we go. That's better. But please, please vote on one of the three. We'll be doing one. Um, I'll be test tasting it black. Then I'll probably be adding some milk tasting it. And then I might try and improve it because they always taste crap because they're sugar free and you need to add sugar because all these flavors are sweet and it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Um, so I'll probably add some sugar. I'm going to boil a kettle while we're, while we're waiting. Apologies if that's too loud in the background. But yes, I've done a... Um, I did the Ethiopian from Lewis and Cooper, which is a—it's uh, kind of nice. It's not my favorite of theirs, but it's, it's good. It's going. I'm procrastinating sleep. You do that. I'm happy to keep you awake. 
White Chalk and Raspberry has won. We have a winner. The other two can go away. Right. Should we give it a sniff first? See what? Because it always has an overpowering smell compared to the actual. Oh my god. Oh god. I have it held pinched like this. I pulled it and my god, the smell that came out of it. Oh, that's, that is powerful. Like, literally, I did this. It's pinched. I ripped. And. Oh, you want to smell? Do it from a distance first. Oh, I just want to do it. I'm having this trouble. Okay. Oh! It's candles again! Yes. It's candles! Ah! It's candles. They always smell of candles for some weird reason. Don't know about your taste, but the idea of strawberry coffee sounds well for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, it smells like a, um, a raspberry candle. So, it's, yeah, white chocolate and raspberry. It smells like a raspberry candle or a fr like a fruity candle. And then the closer you get to it, there is that chocolate-ish. Although it's it's like fake chocolate. You can smell the fake chocolate. It's mostly white chocolate as well. So, it just smells like a really weird um, candle. Also, there, okay, there's a hint of some sort of really cheap... Uh, love heart sweet sort of like hint to it like that really chalky sort of um, candy sweet oh no not gonna like this one to be fair once you get it, it, the, the smell never translates into the flavor it's always much milder yeah no right let's let's give it a go <laughs> Do it for the content. I've got my uh, Cool Runnings mug, because my mug is obviously in use. Go support Joe. He's doing a 12 hour stream in like 15 minutes. I will be on Joe's stream as a guest from 5 p.m. UK time. Playing some Ghostbusters. I don't know why I was about to do the um, Batman theme. Like Ghostbusters. Da -da 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 -da. That's not Ghostbusters. <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable to smell cheap candle in a drink thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Every time we open one of these, it's like that though. It's like it's like they've overpowered the smell because they have, haven't compensated enough in the actual flavour. Because obviously, yeah, tasting is partly smell-based. Some people say like it's 50-50 smell versus state, and you can trick your mind by having a smell there. Um, <laughs> but this is just weird. No, 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 Buster. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who are you going to call? <laughs> can you try this one? Do you want it black or with milk? Ah, oh, sorry, you can't see my face. Ah, oh, not that you'd want to see this face. Oh, it's got a weird aftertaste. Oh, it's the lack of sugar. It really is. It's got sweet, like. The beginning of it is sweet because of the chocolate and the, the raspberry that's trying to get across, although it tastes like wax, that one. What? But because there's no sweet aftertaste, it, your body just goes, this isn't right. Uh. Right, I'm going to put milk in it. Milk usually mellows that, that weird taste. They'll taste like wax. Tastes like it actually tastes like a candle. 
I don't know, no one's, I wouldn't suggest licking a candle, but this is what I imagine it's like. I think the lack. The whole room smells like cheap candles. Yep. I, the air above it yep. is wrong. Yeah. Wax. It's like drinking a candle! Can you Why get me some sugar? Exist? What? Can you get me some sugar? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try putting some sugar in it because that is just not nice. I get like so the initial hit is like the white chocolate, but that lasts for so little of time that you then hit the raspberry waxiness, and it's just not nice. Thank you. Yeah. Mhm. Mm um, the others have improved by putting sugar in. The other three I've tried have not been like we've had sort of similar reaction, and then I've improved it. So I'm gonna put in a unheaped teaspoon into that. Things that are meant to be sweet and aren't are literally poison. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just artificial crap, and that's the reason my body's rejecting it. Would you know? Sugar improves it. Um, I, when I was just about to take a sip, then I had an initial thought of when I got it about here, of this smells of feet. That's what you want from your coffee. Ooh. Oh, it tastes and smells of feet. Waxy, flowery feet. <laughs> Everything in my body was saying, do not put this in your mouth. <laughs> Phrasing. With the sugar, the chocolate, the white chocolate, I'm putting that in quotes because it just tastes of like sweet-ish chocolate. It's it, it's not specifically that signature white chocolate taste. Um, that lasts longer and is better. So that part, if they did just that, I think that's what we had with the double chocolate. It was like really good once I put sugar in. But... Now, at that point, you get the flowery, and it tastes flowery. It doesn't taste like raspberry, it tastes like flowers. The waxiness is reduced because of the sugar, but that floweriness is, oh god. It's not horrible now. It's just not something I'd want. Ugh. Well, there you go. Come back next week for the next one. Will it smell of a candle? Yes. Will it taste like feet? Oh god, I hope not. We have another nine of those, and plus the bubblegum one, remember? <laughs> Sorry. Bubblegum. Got a big pot of that one. But to be fair, the pumpkin spice one, now that I've realised you put sugar in and, and, and maybe you do steamed milk, that one's really good. Bubblegum, yes, bubblegum. Sounds awful. I'm not looking forward to it, that's why I'm putting it off. That might be the grand finale. <laughs> Come back in ten weeks. <laughs> I, there's a reason I'm only doing one a week. <laughs> I'm not a fan of instant coffee full stop now. Now that I've got all my machines and stuff, I'm not a fan. But they have their place, I understand. But this stuff, it's just a gimmick. Just get a syrup or get... <laughs> doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Don't you... Why would you want to put raspberries in your coffee? Why? 
So we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish off my good coffee, and then oh god, and spray it across my face. Apparently. Oh. Sorry about that. It splurted in my face. I'm getting the rage. I am. <laughs> Don't let yourself suffer with the anticipation of bubblegum. Get it over fa with faster. But as soon as I open it, I then have to drink all of it within a certain period of time. I'm actually not, I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to the bubblegum one because what we've determined is none of these coffees taste of coffee itself, so it will just taste the bubblegum. God, that that's the that aftertaste is ruining the good coffee. Right. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> that was horrible. Ugh. I still got half a cup to drink. Yay. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um. Hey, at least OBS is working. At least it hasn't crapped its pants like it did on Friday. <laughs> 